Good afternoon and welcome to Grain TV. It's November 5th, 2012. I'm Logan Burgess. Joining me to my right here is Brock Shimano. Well, Brock, let's jump into fire tip here. See how the grains ended the day on a Monday afternoon here. As we can see, December corn closed down three and a half cents there. Soybeans, the big mover, testing $15 a bushel there, ending the day down 24 and a half on the January contract. Taking a look at Chicago wheat, ending the day up two and a quarter here. Kansas City wheat up as well, up one penny there. Brock, the big thing that people are going to be talking about is this soy market selling off hard here once again. What's really pushing this market right now? I think precipitation prospects for South America is really what was driving the soybean market in particular today. Over the month of October, we did see hotter and drier than normal temperatures for uh, Mato Grosso, Mato Grosso de Sul, a couple of the big soybean producing regions in South, or excuse me, West Central Brazil. Right. The southern part of Brazil and the northern part of Argentina were wetter than normal and cooler than normal. So that's kind of driving uh, a little bit of the concerns uh, for yield and for uh, some of the planning progress that's going on right now. Yep. But if you look over the next few days or so, you're going to see that we have a little bit of a switch in the weather patterns. We're going to get a little bit wetter in the west central part, Mato Grosso, Mato Grosso do Sul, and a little bit drier in the northern part of Argentina, southern Brazil, as you can see over the next several days or so. But we will get some much needed isolated pockets of up to two to four inches of rain in, in that west central part of Brazil. Right, certainly. So this is certainly uh, good for their planting progress here. If we take a look right now what they're looking at, 37% planted on this crop. That's up from 27% last week, but down from 48% at this time last year. So they're not going at a break, break next speed right now getting this crop in the ground but certainly making good progress there we'll keep you posted on that we took a look at some private analyst expectations today out of brazil they're reporting this soybean crop or, or projecting this soybean crop rather at 79.02 million metric tons that compares to the usda right now projecting 81 million metric tons in their most recent october wazi report this friday though is going to be a big day for the grain market we will get the november wazi report uh it wouldn't be surprising to see a revision lower there out of the USDA's projection for Brazilian soybean production here. You know, I think, uh, you know, that southern Brazil area, the northern Argentina area is really a, a cause for concern right now. They are pretty wet, but it looks like going out further on this week, they are going to dry up a little bit, so we should be able to see their planting progress move along pretty quickly here. Yeah, certainly. We'll keep you posted on that here on Grain TV. This morning, we did get the USDA's weekly export inspections report. Take a look here at the table. As you can see here, the middle column is the estimates in million of, in million bushels. As you can see on the right side here, the reported figures, we missed the mark here for corn, soybeans, and wheat. You know, we've been talking about it for a while now, Brock. Corn exports uh, continue to lag behind pace where they need to be. Right now, we're about 37% behind where we were last year at this time. Obviously, people know that corn rationing is occurring, but the big thing to keep in mind is that right now the USDA only has factored in a 25% reduction in year-over-year -year corn exports here. So certainly a revision that lower there would be bearish for the market here. It wouldn't be surprising to see a slight revision to that number uh, out of Friday's WASDE report. But, you know, as we come down the pipe here on that report, we will be giving you all private analyst expectations that we get across our desk here too on Grain TV. Brock, one final thing before we uh, go off the air here on Monday afternoon. We did get crop progress here just a few minutes ago. How are things looking there? Corn's almost complete on their harvest progress, 95% complete, well ahead of the five-year average of 71%. Soybeans, similar story, 93% complete, 86% is the five-year average, so we're ahead there as well. I think uh, a developing story and what m might have put a little bit of a bid under the wheat market today was uh, the good to excellent rating on the winter wheat. Dropped another 1%. This is kind of a, a concerning figure right now because we're just getting that plant to planting and the emergence up to a pretty significant levels right now, but yep. that good to excellent rating is really suffering at this time. Yes, Certainly, it looks like it did put a little bit of a bid there under Kansas City and Chicago Wheat in today's action. I think that wraps up our show here, though, for Monday afternoon on Grain TV. Thanks a lot for joining us here. We'll see you tomorrow.